Now what we can do is we can say for okay not like this for dollar x is equal to zero okay dollar x is less than count dollar post x plus plus and I will surely explain to you what it's gonna do for us okay then let me say echo dollar post email dollar x and this needs to be inside the double quotes otherwise you will get an error okay let's go back refresh this page select all hit send that's fine guys if you people are getting some errors that's okay well let me show you okay we need a break tag as well so that we can make things clear see we are getting all of the emails out here by echoing this email x if you will remember from the last time what we did was we gave them some numbers so the very first email was having a number of zero the second one was having one the third one was having email two so we were doing like this the same thing we are doing on this page we are saying first get the email which is equal to zero because we have our x is equal to zero so it will grab this particular one on the top okay it will run the process again it will go this time our x is equals to x plus plus so that would be x is equals to one it will grab this particular one because this one has an email one okay then it will go again this time the x would be equals to two it will grab the next one so this is the way the entire process will work now you might be thinking why we are getting these errors it says undefined email six email seven obviously we are getting 19 requests so it gonna this loop gonna run for 19 times but we only have six emails apart from that everything is unknown for this page that is the reason it's a undefined index but that's absolutely fine we are able to get the emails we want we can take care of these errors later okay so instead of echoing them out we can actually hit the emails okay so what we can do is first out here on the top I'm gonna say dollar get an ID and this our ID will be equal to this that I'm gonna say dollar SQL my SQL query and then I'm gonna say select all from newsletter where ID is equal to this dollar ID the limit needs to be one or die give us a minus two error <clears throat> this way we would be getting everything from our database for that particular newsletter okay then I can say dollar row will be equal to my SQL fetch array dollar sql and then we can extract our dollar row okay so now we are getting everything from our database for that particular newsletter <clears throat> now we can say dollar two will be equal to dollar post email x so we will be sending to this particular person then our dollar subject we already have from our database if you will come here put uh, a newsletter not to guess with here we already have our subject we already have our message we have our sender's name and the sender's email as well now we only have to write the mail function but before that you need to download the SMTP server in order to send any emails so guys you can do one thing you can go to this particular website that says postcast server <clears throat> from here you can download this particular free SMTP server 
okay from here you can download it once you will download it you will get an exe file you need to run it to install it to your system once you will install it you will get an exe file something like this which is postgres server.exe you need to run it and your server will be up and running then you need some configurations now okay if i close it yeah. let me open it again Yes. What is this? In order to run the program, you need to enter your full name and email address. Okay. I'm gonna enter that. I'm gonna enter my name. Uh, fake email address for sure. I'm not gonna let you stop it. Oh, I, I, I don't know what the people want. Okay, you people can actually download it, and once you will download it, uh, you need to you need to go here to settings. Here you will have to write local host. Okay, and then your server port needs to be 25 out here it will ask for your dns server address whether you can put your dns uh, address out here or you can hit direct it will get it automatically for you so this is the only configuration you people need and after that guys go to your php.ini file okay, here would be my php.ini and we can actually search for the mail functions configuration okay here is the one out here where it says for win32 only your this particular line would be commented out like this you just need to take these comments off and if your smtp server is equals to null you can put local host and the port needs to be 25 then only they both will be equals to same okay then you also need to enter an email address from which particular email address you want to send the mails. So I have put my own email address out here. And after that, you can save and close it and restart your Apache server in order to see all the effects. Okay. Once all that have been done, you would be able to send emails from your local computer. Okay, guys. Next thing we need is we need to write our mail functions and our body so i'm going to say daughter body will be equals to an image source that will help us tracking which particular email have been opened or not so that would be equals to uh track okay give it a full path i'm going to say http local post slash letter slash track email dot php where eid okay is equals to 